Okay, that was a lot louder than I thought it would be. Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the last episode where we started putting airports everywhere. And look at that. We've got an airport, we've got an, we've got an aircraft pulling out of the terminal and you've got a freight train right there behind it. That's, that's the moments that I really, really like in this title. I just wish we had bigger maps now. I mean, I know this is the biggest map I can get, I wish we had maps that were even bigger, allowing more realistic sizes. Perhaps after the performance update, we'll be able to get larger maps. That would be really, really awesome. That really, really would be awesome. Should we watch the first takeoff? Look at that. So that's now on its way to Thunder Bay. Let's ride along with it for the first for the first run. Let's uh. Let's ride along with this aircraft. I don't think we've... Yeah, obviously we've never done that. But look at that. With trains all below it. Everything looks awesome here. It really, really does look awesome. We're going to be doing a lot of work in this episode as well. Uh, so make sure you guys are already excited and ready for that. So hopefully you guys are. Let's look at that. I can actually pull up the uh, speed of this in the corner so we can see. It's doing 78 miles an hour. Look, there's trains down below there going both ways. We've got a train out there. Can we see any more trains? There's a train right there. We can see anything else that we can see. This is now going out of a uh, draw distance. So that's a bit annoying because the locomotives have a much larger draw distance uh, than the then the uh, carriages which is really odd there's another train that's one of the Michigan loop trains there's another Michigan loop train there's Green Bay city or town of Green Bay 235 miles per hour but yeah if we had maps that were double this size oh look at this That was pretty awesome. But yes, if we did have maps that were double this size, I would be really, really happy. Let's go on board with this one for the for the landing. Uh, just imagine a map that was double this size as it slows down. Doing now 200 miles per hour. And we could have the same the same towns on a map that was twice the size. That would, and of course, because it would be twice the size, it means that we'd have twice the distance for everything. Maybe we could fit in a couple of more cities uh, or a couple of more towns. But overall, everything would be a lot more realistic. The distance between the towns means that they could grow out a lot more. Um, yes, okay. That being said, perhaps we, perhaps we would want to expand the area too much. Having it as twice the size means that we can get twice the size of the towns. Chicago, Naperville would end up being something like 6,000 people, but that would be a lot more realistic, even though this is pretty good. And here we go, we're turning in, and we're going to get back on the map for landing. And I tried to make sure that this is in an area where aircraft can get in, and it looks like I have got it right, because we have a, a hill on... We have a hill over here on the starboard side, but the aircraft can get past this hill very, very nicely. Yep, that's absolutely fine. Now the trees, the trees might need to go. Even though, I mean, the runway threshold is it's fairly... Actually, you know what, it's, it's fairly close, but I think we're alright on the runway threshold. Yeah, yeah, I think we're okay. Yeah, look at that, we're absolutely fine. A new vehicle is available, something Pittsburgh. Interesting. And there we go, there's the first run. Uh, what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to pause it right there in 1940. We're going to find out what this Pittsburgh, it looks like a tram. I'm going to actually check, is that a tram? Uh, we have a depot somewhere around, somewhere. Somewhere around somewhere we have a depot. Yep, that's brilliant English. Uh, here we go, there's a depot. Nope, that's, that's a ship, shipyard. It's not a depot, there we go, here's a depot. Uh, let's have a look, is it a tram yes it is a tram the president's conference committee streetcar design proved very successful as an example pittsburgh railways operated 666 pccs on 68 routes so that means that we can use that pittsburgh one in some places 
namely uh, Pittsburgh. We'll use them in Pittsburgh, and uh, I think we'll probably use them in uh, Columbus and possibly Cincinnati, Washington, something something like that. But there we go. So we've got we've got that moving. Now, what are we going to be doing in this episode? Well, again, we're going to be staying away from the railways, and we're going to actually uh, do some work connecting cities up by road. So let's let's get this going. Let's see what roads do we want to use for major arteries out of said city. Well, look, this is a main road right here. And I think it might be smart to use this road here. Yep, I think this is the road. So let's start over here. And we're going to go... This is going to become a, a large street. Uh, not extra large. Large street. With the yellow markings. And that is then going to become... A large country road. There we go. All right. And I think we're going to be able to do some pretty fancy stuff with this. Because we can then get the road going out that side. Towards the farms. And towards the freight station. Or the freight airport. Freight port. Freyport. That's a terrible one. Ooh. I don't want that. Unless we can tunnel it. Which we can, but I don't want that. Hiya. The less the cut, the better. There we go. That's better. Yeah, I can I can deal with that. Let's smooth it up. Uh make that larger. Brush 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 strength not brush strength it's brush strength brush strength hi yeah that looks better i i can i can deal with that let's uh no let's not smooth that out all right so philadelphia and washington are now connected um via road or via a road over there so what do you say, via or via? Just curious. Depends on my mood. I really don't know what the correct... I've, I've heard people say it both ways. Um, I'll try and demolish these again. I absolutely... That one can stay. I absolutely really, really get annoyed with this because it ruins the train station beyond recognition. I mean, look what it's done here. That's just... It's just ruined. And it's very, very, very annoying. Right. Alrighty. So we've got that. That's a very old setup. Those trains. No, they're not. They've got the Pennsylvania cars. They're not that old. 21 years old. Ah, they can run. They can run for a little while longer, I think. So we've done that, we've done that, that's already connected, that's all connected. Perhaps we should connect Green Bay up. Uh, now how do we want to do this? To get a bridge across from here, and then uh, a route that runs alongside the railway. That would be kind of awesome. So let's do that. Uh, we'll upgrade this to Large Road. Like so. And then go to... Uh, should we go just to a medium country road here? No, I think we just go to a large country road. And we will, again, with the yellow markings. I think this can run alongside the railway line. Because I think they do that in America, right? You have a lot of these running alongside railway lines. Correct me if I'm wrong. Most likely I am wrong. But I think this is going to be an awesome little bit of... Uh, this bit of road. Now comes the question of crossing it over. How are we going to cross it over? Where are we going to cross it over? I had a... Actually, did I not have something that allows me to fix or... Railway road crossing... I'm sure I have something or other that can traffic filter. 
that's going to crush it out. That did it crush it out. All right, we're back to where we were. Uh, now going to put this this four lane country road back in right now, the one that goes alongside the railway. Bit of deja vu perhaps for you guys. Um, I have also gone back in time, so I am essentially the doctor, and that means that the aircraft have not yet taken off. The one that we just saw at the start of this episode taking off and we followed it, that hasn't happened yet. Uh, what I know is not to use the traffic uh, traffic filter anymore. That's a, that's a no-no. Right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop it here. I'm going to then put a, a large street. Now this is where things are going to get interesting. So where do I put the large street and is it worth putting a large street or should we just go for medium? Because I think medium streets might be the way to go here. So we can do a medium street sort of like this and then construction not possible, but it can do a bridge. And then what we can do is we can... Uh, I see that the problem with that is the bridge is way yeah I don't want the bridge like that I want the bridge to be the smallest bridge we can possibly have and those are rather large bridges for some reason it's it's no longer happy to and we can't really tunnel and unfortunately that seems to be the bridge of choice That's a little bit wobbly, but um, that might be interesting. We can call it uh, measures to slow. It's it's used to s uh, slow cars down. Yeah, let's 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 say it's that. Then we can do medium street becomes uh, medium country road. Yeah, like that uh, becomes large country road. Why not? I mean, that would probably make sense it's not too bad medium street becomes medium country road becomes large country road as a matter of fact I can probably uh, convert this whole thing to country road there we go we're not going any further out this way not entirely happy about that but it's okay so now we've got Milwaukee Green Bay Chicago Rockford Madison uh, done we could probably sort something out here now, what do we have? Where are our main roads? The main road is this road right here. So let's turn that into a large street. No, wait. Is it? I mean, it looks like the main road. So let okay, let's go ahead and do that anyway. So we'll do... Convert this whole thing. So it's going to be one of those narrow large streets, which, which I kind of like. I wish we could choose between narrow and wide large streets. That would be really awesome. So you can see here we've got narrow streets and then we have large streets. That would be really awesome if we could choose to do that. Because in places that are planned for Season 3, narrow large streets are going to be the way forward for me. And then we can go... Now we've got that there. Uh do that there can we just take it out from there as a large street or a country road go as a medium country road from there to there that would be okay yeah that would be kind of okay and then we can we can even run another one to Green Bay if we wanted to let's see let's see let's go for a, a medium what's this a small no don't do that what's a small country wow that's really small now see the medium country road I think that would work for us so we can go here and what we'll do is let's see if we can do this manually so if we can raise this up now where would it want to bridge it would want to bridge there but we can raise this up a little sharper than we'd want so we could go let's do this Initial, a little bit more, straight, perfect, perfect, um, let's go for that, 
and then down. That could work. And then what? How do we do this? So we get rid of that bit there, run it again up to that point, then let it smooth itself out. There we go. And then follow itself down and then around like so uh, but but we could turn this section into a large street see how I want to have the narrow large streets here not all of that wow gosh no there we go up to there I wish we could have narrow large streets like this one that would be really awesome so now that's connected now the interesting part is I wonder if I can turn this all into a bridge. I'm going to try. I'm going to certainly try. Um, maybe I have to flatten this up. Is it that bit there? But I can delete. No, I can't delete the whole bra. Uh, Hmm. Let me just do this and see what happens. Would that allow me to bridge the end of this? Because if it does, it might be interesting. No. No, it doesn't. Well, I guess that's, that's that then. Alright, well, there's our bridge. Fantastic. So that's now an entire loop. So you can see... Although it's not... It's not really a loop because you don't... This area is not exactly right you have to really go in out and around and about and it's it's less of a loop more of a an interesting journey i suppose but we've done that all around there that's great auto save where were you 10 minutes ago um naperville to now see look over here we could we could really make use of this road and run that all the way out to st louis because we've got We've got the road. We, we have the road all the way. This is very old road. We could really make use of it now. Turn that into country road there and then just right out here. All the way to this point. Should we do that? Yeah, let's do that. So we're just working on road networks now. So we're going to demolish this because I, I always said I wanted to get rid of this section. I never liked how that was. Um, at this point, we'll keep it a large street. We'll straighten it up as we want to. There we go. That's a much straighter section. Then we're going to switch to a large street with... Well, that's not as straight as... That's how I want it. See, that's not what I want. That's not what I want at all. Although that will fix it. There we go. All right. And then from here, we can go to Large Country Road. So we can... Uh, demolish all that and go Large Country Road from here. Not exactly the straightest, but we can probably fix that very quickly. What? Where'd you go? There we go. Like that, and then we'll get a, a small country road coming out of here to connect. Oh, you know what? Oh, I don't know where this is going to be. This might be worth it. This might be worth something. I'm going to try it. I am going to try it. Do a really weird junction if we wanted to. This might be worth something, though. Where's the, where's the straight on this? That's not straight.
this could be interesting. There we go. Why not? Why not? Surely we can do that. It'd, it'd run quite nicely. There'd be a 50 mile an hour road running along here. Maybe not the right one I wanted, but uh, let's just have a look. What's the other ones that we have? What does that look like? Looks exactly the same. Is there not? Hmm. Well, okay. That's that's what we'll run. Great. Then we'll go back to our large country road. Uh, not that one. That one. And now we run it. See, we could we could even run it all the way out to this side if we wanted to. With some bridges and whatnot. In fact, you know what? We might do that. But first, let's get the let's get it running along here, along the freight lines. This looks awesome already. Uh, you know what? Should we should we try and get the climb and the descent on this? This is a road after all, not a. Yeah, it's a road, not a railway. So we can we can do that with it. And then we'll curve it away this side. Over here. And aha. Now at this point we that's yep, that's perfect. That is perfect tunnel and then large street of that kind that's awesome that is awesome let's look at that imagine now cars running along that so now St. Louis is connected as well now what do we connect? Now we've got Indianapolis that we could connect. Look, from here. We could connect Indianapolis all the way out to where I was saying on this side. Should then take the bridges over. I mean, there, there was... I wanted to do more here, but I don't think I can. There's there's no space for this to to emerge from here. If I, if I was going to try and get a tunnel out of here, unless, unless I could get it joining in the tunnel. Let me just try something here. Okay, so it's going to get in the that's going to get in the way, but I could have done that. There might be a possibility here to think about bringing that down and allowing. Uh, yeah, yeah, there could be a possibility, but for now, let's get Indianapolis. Connected. We'll do this first. And then... Right, we need to make sure. Which way is our track? Our track's on this side, so that's fine. We can allow that to go that way. There we go. And do we want Indianapolis to grow further this side? No, I'd rather it grow this side, really. So we'll switch this to country roads. A large country road with the yellow markings and we can just follow along the route for a while and then we'll peel off in that direction or some, something like that yeah I think that would work so up we go still climbing see the route is flat but we are climbing which is exactly how it should be and then over here we'll actually split in the forest and we'll go out uh, in that direction. Here we go. Yep, that's that's actually really nice. Look at that. That's actually really nice. Uh, and then let's see what would happen. How would the straight connection work for us? The straight connection would work beyond a dream. Perfect. All right, we're coming up very close to the end of this episode, I suppose. A few more minutes because I did have to reload and stuff, so the recording is not showing exactly the timer I want. 
Uh, now, there's another major roadhouse on this side. But do I... i tell you what would be good is if I could just... If I was able to do that, bring it over on this side, connect it up here as well, and then go straight out to the likes of Cincinnati. And from Cincinnati, look, Columbus, that one's a that one's a road just asking to be built. Right there. That's just asking to be built. So there's a lot, there is a lot we, we've got to consider. Similarly, out here, we've got the Lake Michigan loop that we want out there. I think there's supposed to be a road that goes out this way, interstate something, goes straight out this way. But I'm pretty sure there's an interstate that goes down this way as well. Um, all right, let's do the Cincinnati Columbus one because that one's just, that's just ready to be built. I don't think Cincinnati is going to grow much more. I'd, I'd probably rather it doesn't as well. To be completely honest, we've got a four track here. Six track is what it's going to go up to eventually. And Columbus in itself, I think, is doing fairly well. So I'd rather Columbus didn't grow any further as well. Not out there anyway. It can grow out this way. And now, here's another one. How would we do this? It'd have to be a tunnel, right? To get to towards Pittsburgh. And then Pittsburgh is going to have, we're going to have to fix up this section here and then get it going out towards Columbus. But we've also got Cleveland over here. We've got the idea of Buffalo to Hamilton. Uh, we've got so much to think about here. So much to think about. Oh yeah, that's it. Someone said, why don't I get uh, disconnected to Susan Marie? That was a few episodes ago someone suggested that. So um, I'm going to have to find a way to do that as well. Uh, possibly... I mean, they've, they've decided to build this, right? I could use this road, run alongside here and follow all the way into Sudbury. That could be pretty good. I think I'll do that in the next episode if, if I remember. So I'll connect that one up. Let's get the uh, thumbnail for this episode. Um... Which, what should the thumbnail be? We've got roads everywhere now, right? So, possibly some section of road. That could be a thumbnail, I suppose. That could be a thumbnail. Hold on, hold on. There should be a nicer one at Green Bay, right? Yeah, here. Aha, yep, this looks like a fairly good... I wish there was a train in that, but uh, can I get a train in that? Where's the nearest train? You're going the wrong direction. No, I don't think I can get... Is there another train coming in that might be of use? Nope, you're not going too far. So, okay, that's just going to have to be it. There's a ship in the background, so at least we've got something. There we go. Let's take that. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel. For more videos on transports fever leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think any ideas you might have next episode we're going to be uh what are we going to be doing actually oh you know what that could have been that would have been a picture to take with all these tracks and roads and i might leave that one there uh next episode what are we going to be doing well i think I think it might be a good idea for us to be uh, looking at potential. Oh, stop moving. Potentially more railways. There is a lot more that we need to do on the railway, of course. So looking at more on the railways might be helpful. Let's take that picture just in case I want to use that. Uh, I'm not sure which railways we might look at. Obviously, we've got a few more roads we want to connect. But I'm thinking of I'm thinking of getting some more railways done. Uh, the next phase of this actually might be helpful as well as the next phase of this constructions plant construction materials plant as soon as it starts supplying indianapolis we can get that hooked up back here as well and then up that way so that might be helpful as well on top of that we've probably got some freight airports to start working on so it's going to be maybe a freight oriented one unless i choose to do phase two of this line 
Um, but we'll have to see. Thank you very much for watching. And don't forget to support me on Patreon. Link to that is in the description box below. Your support would be massively, massively appreciated. I'll see you guys next time.